If, if I tell you to go to the fucking gym, I'm not trying to oppress you. I'm just giving you good advice, but it's only good advice if you take it. You should go to the fucking gym. You should exercise. Again, it's like, you don't have to. If I say, go to the fucking gym, go to the fucking gym. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, you're not my slave. You're not, I, I can't make you go. If I could, I would, I would make you go. Shut the fuck up and go to the fucking gym. No, like I want you to go because you should be going. I'm not going to make you go. I wouldn't, even if I could, I wouldn't make you go. You just should go because it's the right thing to do and take care of yourself. All right. I just don't understand why people can't comprehend Ugh. when I've said over and over that this is my normal body. I'm going to pause this right there. Jesus Christ. What does that mean? This poor thing. She's just so delusional. What does that mean? This is my normal body. What does that mean? I want to tell people, this is my body. You don't say, you don't say my mind is blown. That's your body. I didn't know that. I, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a spaceship. I didn't know that was your body. Oh God. I'm glad you told me. What does that mean? Come on, fam. What the fuck does that mean? This like word, these word ninjas, it just doesn't, it's, ah, oh, it's, it's bad. This is my normal body. What the fuck does that mean? We know it is. That's why we're encouraging you to get healthier. We know it's your normal body. The fuck does that even mean? I am classified as obese. We know. We know. What, does, what, what, are, we, what are we discussing here? No, I have had problems with eating disorders in the past. And you still do. I eat pretty well. I've been a vegetarian since the age of 10. There you fucking shit. Fucking fuck shit. Fuck. Fuck shit. Fuck. Cunt. Fuck. Bitch. Fuck shit. Fuck shit. Fuck. Damon. Fuck shit. Fuck. Shit, fuck, shit. Fuck, shit, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit, fuck, or fuck. Fuck, shit, fucking fuck. Fucker make shitty fuck. It's okay, thank you, man. It's not you. It's not you, buddy. You're okay. You're a good boy. All right. Dude. No, bro. I've been a vegetarian since the age of 10. Eat some fucking steak. Go carnivore. This chick goes carnivore and exercises every day. Weight's gone. Not weight's fucking gone. She just goes to grass, just beef, just gone. It's gonna melt. She's gonna melt. Oh my god! All right, let's just do it. Again. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm not sorry. It's my fucking show. I paused it, but all right, I had to. Okay. Oh, I've been a vegetarian since the age of ten. Sure, there are days that I overeat, and there's also days that. I <laughs> I gotta pause it again. You don't say. Sure, there's days I overeat. Yeah, all of them. It's not about days that you overeat and undereat. Overall, you're overeating. It doesn't matter if you fast for three days, if you're eating 9,000 calories, the other ones. It's cumulative. It's not like an Etch-A-Sketch. Your body just forgets about the day before. My God. Undereat. But the important thing is I am not looking for your help. Unfortunately. And I've made it clear that I'm not looking for anybody's help. You don't have to ask for it. Your videos are crying out for it. Your screen name says positively fat. So your identity is about being obese. Otherwise, so that's no wonder you're not no wonder you're not trying to change. Your identity is built into being positively fat. Ugh. The people that tell me to go to the gym, especially on this page, also follow up sometimes in separate comments on separate videos with things like whale emojis. Those are mean people. Welcome to the internet. Welcome to freedom of speech. Okay. I'm not going to type on your videos, a whale emoji. So you can do a couple things. You can make, you could ban whale emojis in your restricted comments section. You can put certain words that you want to get flagged. You can turn off your comments or you can not post videos. 
you got some options there. So don't complain about negative comments. We all get them. Just don't post online. Again, you shouldn't be posting on social media. It's not healthy for you. And although whales are cool, I just, <laughs> I sense that it's not from the kindness of their heart. And no I've shit. even gotten really honest that, frankly, I don't know what to do with the gym. I don't necessarily find it oppressive when it happens to me. I just find it annoying. But even though I've said these things many times, I hope that clears it up for you. Okay, well, that's, okay, now we can get to work here. Where are we sitting here? Um, frankly, I don't know what to do with the gym. I don't need to, I don't, I don't know what to do with the gym or in a gym. Like, look, th this is like, this is some, this is a heartbreaking moment. Like the rest of the stuff. I, okay. Whatever. That, frankly, I don't know what to do with the gym. Okay. And I've even gotten really honest that frankly, frankly, I don't know what to do with the gym. Okay. Now we can do some work. So just saying positively fat. If you watch us or come across this clip, send us a message, a DM. We'll hook you up with a Swole Fan membership. I've said this to people before. If you actually want to learn and take care of your health and improve, happy to help out, okay, and get you started. We'll hook you up with a 90-day dash program. Just saying, on the house. Not saying that you would do it, but we'd hook you up. Uh, that's not an excuse to not do anything. Go for a walk, get moving, but one, the vegetarian is not a good thing. I mean, are you eating quality foods? Not. A lot of vegetarians eat dog shit. Tons of carbohydrates, vegetable oils. You're not eating enough quality proteins and fats. Lots of inflammation, sleep, hydration, electrolytes, meditation, whatever. All right? Nonsense. You're overeating in a big way. You're overeating all the time. You're eating a lot of carbohydrates. You're eating a lot of vegetable oils and seed oils and processed sugars. You're just, you're not taking care of yourself. Vegetarian, you're saying, I've been a vegetarian for like, that's the problem. That's the problem. Can you do vegetarian somewhat well? Yeah, you can. If you're eating a ton of fucking eggs and low toxicity plant sources and maybe fruit, but it's eat animal proteins. A lot of people are trying to be healthy and then a vegan it's like you're pulling in opposite directions you really are you really are like hey this is my body this is my body i do things wrong but this is my this is your body it's because of what you do with it this is your body because of your lifestyle habits now this again i'm not saying that some people some people do get fat easier than others do genetics play a role? Sure, epigenetics. But epigenetics and your genetics will react more to those negative habits. Like some people will have more of a propensity for obesity. So guess what those people should do? Be very militant and very deliberate with their training, with their nutrition, with their sleep, with their lifestyle habits so they don't suffer from that kind of morbidity. It's just No, she's not going to do it. No, I'm not. Uh, look, and I'm not saying. Uh, I say it for a reason because I don't like I don't like that being the reason because that's a cry for help. That's a cry. That's a desperate cry for help that most people don't pick up on. All right. That one part where she's saying like, you know, all this stuff like this is my body, blah, blah. This is my body. So she's relinquished. She's giving up. Um, I've been a vegetarian. She's saying I don't eat well and I overeat. We know that. We know that vegetarian or vegan or carnivore, you're not eating right. You're not doing right. Keto, whatever. You're eating too much and you're eating low quality food, obviously. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in this situation. But then when you say to follow up like this, like, I just don't know what to do in the gym. That's like a helpless, like, a, it's, it's, it's frustrating. It's like, oh my God. It's a desperate cry for help. I don't do this because I I, I don't make these videos and do this podcast every fucking day and I don't show up every day for people to not get results or for to, to not take action. It's just frustrating. Go for a walk every day and eat better food and you'll lose weight. It's just, it's not a good reason. It's not a good reason. So again, if you're going to have a cry for help, I don't know what to do with the gym. Well, I can help you with that. You still have to do it though. So oh, is that the reason? 
if all that stuff, well, I don't even know what to do at the gym. That doesn't excuse everything else. It's like, okay, so find out what to do. Find out what to do. I don't even know what to do in the gym. So you just justify, this is my body. This is your body because you're a vegetarian, you overeat and you don't train. That's why that's your normal body. This is my normal body. Why? Because it's my body. Like my body doesn't fluctuate. I'm fat. This is not my normal body. This is my fucking body right now. This is my body right now. It's not an excuse. I don't know what to do in the gym. That's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. You've never heard the daily swole. You're not going to join the fam. I get it. You just fucking go online and Google something. Basic total body workout in a gym. Beginner, to, beginner workout in a gym. You'll only get 10 billion fucking, you, you'll only get 10 billion results on, on YouTube, on Google or YouTube. And then just do that. Chances are it's going to be something that's basic and decent. When you're starting, you just need to start. It doesn't need to be this high end fuck. You can't handle high end. It's going to be basic. It's going to be simple. That's all, all you need to do is do that and then do it again and do it again. And then you learn more and you push harder. You just got to fucking do it. There's so many videos. And a lot of those videos aren't good or they're not progressive. And I get it. That's why programs are good because it helps you progress. 